distinguished guests, um, can I first of all acknowledge the presence of Madam um, Gao, um, Ambassador of Wu, and first former Taoiseach and Prime Minister, Andy Kenny. And thank you, Caroline, for your introduction as well, and to the members of the China Ireland Business Association. And of course, thank them for the invitation here this afternoon. It's an honor for me to be here with you all at this very, very special event. I'd like especially to thank Madam Gao um, for being with us and her honor colleagues from the China's Council for the Promotion of Trade and Investment. Uh, we had a very productive and fruitful meeting earlier uh, with Madam Gao, and I'm sure that um, with this meeting and with this forum this afternoon, it will only help to strengthen the growing relationship between our two countries. And of course, it's a happy birthday celebration because this year we celebrate 40 years of diplomatic uh, friendship uh, relations between our two countries. And this, it was, I know, I'm apologies to the ambassador, I couldn't be there last Friday night, I had another event on in my constituency, but I know it was a very good event. Celebrated both the cultural and the economic side uh, between our two countries. And of course, it was great to get the announcement from the Minister for Justice, Mr. Flanagan, uh, that a five-year multi-entry visa option will now be available for Chinese tourists. So I think that would be a very positive development between our two countries. Can I say to all of you here today that the ambitions that we and our Irish, that our Irish companies have, that the government have, that the education institutes have, that the cultural institutes have, with the people of China has been built over the last 40 years. The economic, social and the political ties between Ireland and China continue to deepen as we continue uh, our dialogues and our visits in both directions. Of course, trade is extremely important. China is an economic superpower, but also has one of the most diverse and exciting countries to do business with in the world today. China is the powerhouse of global growth and has become increasingly significant trading partner for us here in Ireland. And I'm delighted that the trade flows between Ireland and China in both directions continue to grow strong and are now at record levels. Two-way trade has more than doubled since 2013 and services trade has grown by 300%. Ireland, economic and political stability, I think is really important, along with the continued commitment to the European Union. It's a core part of the value proposition that we have for overseas invest investors. As I said to Madame Gao earlier, we're the fastest growing economy in Europe at the moment. Unemployment is almost at 4.6%, almost at full employment. And Ireland is, has performed very well in attracting foreign direct investment into this country over the decades. Companies that are looking for reliable, high quality and diversified destinations to invest in are choosing to invest in our based on our advanced technology, our innovation, which is really important, our spirit of entrepreneurship and our management expertise. ID Ireland is our agency, state agency, responsible for supporting foreign investment into Ireland. And the ID have now three offices in China, including Shanghai, Shenzhen, and Beijing. And ID Ireland has secured a number of very strategic investments from China in recently in the life science, technology, and the financial services. In April this year, or last year, uh, Wuki Bio Biologics announced plans to invest 325 million euros to build a large biomanufacturing facility using single-use bioreactors in Dundalk in County Loud, just up from Dublin here. And I'm delighted that the CEO for McGrath is here this evening in the panel with you. The project commenced construction in January 2019 on a greenfield site, and when completed, it will be the largest single-use uh, biologics facility in the world. Thank you for that investment in our country. 